Greetings telemetry lovers, I welcome you. Today's episode is about how you can display telemetry data here on the Radio Master MT12. For that I have set up this little test bench here. Here I have a PSU which uh, has a voltage of 11.1 volts on the output. With this we simulate a 3S LiPo. Here we have an ESC. This, the BEC of this ESC provides 7.4 volts. And here we have the, the receiver, this is a Radiolink R7FG and this has a separate voltage input, a voltage sensor input and this is directly connected to the PSU which means this will in a real, uh, real setup will be connected to the battery and therefore provides the raw battery voltage um, to, the, to the receiver and the receiver will transmit the BEC voltage and the battery voltage to the transmitter. And now let's check how we can display these two voltage values here on the Radio Master MT12. For that, go to the model menu, two to the left, and here telemetry. Here you see this little arrow. With this, you can expand the sensor list. But now, for now, there there are no sensors. We have to. Oops! Every time I click the wrong button here, you have to go to discover new to discover all the new sensors. And well, that's it. We have six sensors here. And as you can see, the first and the second sensor are voltage values, 6.3 volts and 5.7 volts. And if I turn the voltage here on the PSU, you see the second, the A2, is now 5.2 and now 5.7. So obviously these voltage values are wrong. How can we fix that? If you go to a telemetry, sensor here and hit the roller, then you have the two values ratio and offset. And with this you can, well, calibrate the radio to the correct sensor value. In this case, this is sensor A, this is our BEC voltage, that should be 7.4 volts. Now I turn up the ratio until I have 7.4 volts here. And for the A2, I do the same. I increase the ratio until I have 11.1 volts. Of course, here in this test setup it is a bit easier because I, I know what voltage the PSU delivers. So I can set that value very easily. In a real setup you have to measure the actual voltage output of your battery and then you can calibrate here this sensor. And while we are here, I rename this sensor to VB for a voltage but for the battery voltage a little b yes that's it and the first sensor I rename to V um, E little e for ESC which is the BEC voltage okay Oh, no. Very well, now we have 7.4 volts at sensor 1 and 11.1 volts at sensor 2. Now let me change the voltage here on the PSU. I change it from 11.1 to 10.1. And as you can see, we have now 10.1 volts here in this, on the sensor output. 9.1, 10.1, 11.1. Very well. Now we have the correct values. Now, how can we display these values? I mean, yes, you see it here, but um, you, usually you want to have a, a special page where you can set some, well, configure some um, output informa informations. And this you do here on this page, on this display page, you can define or configure four different screens. And every screen can show numeric values or bar graphs or a a script output. For this, for the voltage output, numeric values are very well. And here, if you hold and press or press and hold the roller, then you get a list of all the possible values or, or groups, if you will, group of values that you can here set to, uh, to be shown here in this screen. We need a telemetry and VE, this is the ESC voltage, very well. And here at the second element you have eight um, slots here, two columns with uh, four rows each. 
And here again, I go to telemetry and take VB. This is a battery voltage and that's it. And now back on the home screen, now hit the tele button, the telemetry button and voila, you have your voltages here. 7.4 volts is the BEC output and 11.1 volts is the battery output, the battery voltage. If I decrease the battery voltage, 10.1, 9.1, up to 10.1, 11.1. Very well, works like a charm. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you find this content helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And if you wanna support me further, then by all means, please go ahead and buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you very much for that. And well, that's it. Until next time, goodbye, servus.